All right, so I'd like to consider the traditional algorithms for just a second. I mentioned algorithms earlier. I want you to consider that it's possible. Now, this is where it gets tricky, so <clears throat> I can do this. I have to think for a second. Is this where I do four fingers up? I go like this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now I can write. All right, so if we were to do some um, addition problem, like, I don't know, give me a three digit number. 270. Uh, can you make that uglier? 270. Three. Three is fine. Okay, now give me another two digit number. Beautiful, because that's ugly with that number. So if I were to do that, <laughs> so if I were to do that instantly, you're like having this knee jerk. We have to regroup. We have to regroup. We have to regroup. Right? Is a lot, a lot of you thinking that way? Okay, we have to regroup. So if I want kids to, um, well, let me go here first. If I'm thinking about the standard algorithm, could I have a student do an addition problem, get it correct, but really be using the counting strategy? Could they say, let's see, three plus a three. 11. And then they could write down the one and carry the one and they go, all right, 7 and 1, 7, 8, now 8 and 6, 8. <laughs> and so then they could find an answer here, and then they could carry, they could find an answer here. Let's even say that that answer is correct. Could they solve that problem correctly, looking like they're doing additive thinking when in fact they're using a counting strategy? So I'd like you to consider the multiplication algorithm. We could use, I'm going to use parts of those numbers. So let's say we did 73 times 68, because I want to do three digits. And so, what if I were to say, let's see, 8 times 3, 8 times 3, that's 8 threes, 3, 6, 9, 12, is that, a, is that a multiplicative strategy? But I could get the right answer, right? I could, I could get that 24 and carry that, and I could go, all right, 8 times 7, oh, gravy, 8, 7, 7, 14, 21. Can you see kids doing that? And so they can get the right answer here and here and then down here and then magic zero and then blah, 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 and, get and then we could get the correct answer after lots of work looking like they're thinking multiplicatively when in fact they're using additive strategies. So middle school teachers, is it any wonder that when we want kids to think proportionally, which demands their thinking multiplicatively, that it is very difficult to make that leap? Gave early, it was very difficult for me to make that leap. 